This car was ambushed in the middle of evening rush hour. Several passengers were injured, but none killed. The assailants on a motorbike. One of them left dead on the street, shot by the intended victim's son. I knew already that uh, the, the shots were intended for me. But I could not recall any, anything which uh, I, I did which caused uh, somebody to hit, uh, to, to hit me or hate me. Garay Blas believes he may have been targeted because of a business deal gone wrong. He's grateful he's alive. Many more do not escape and are killed with impunity by men like Rigor, who make their living killing for a price. I started doing this when I was 15 with a 38 caliber. At first, it was just about money. I'm the only one who provides for my family. Rigor is from Tondo, a Manila neighborhood where millions grew up surrounded by violence and impoverished. Now in his 20s, he drives a pedicab during the day, barely earning five U.S. dollars. Older friends told him there was a way he could earn much more. Now, with each kill, or job as he calls it, he can make at least a hundred dollars. His family still doesn't know how he gets the extra cash. I think about my family and also feel ashamed. The people who ask for these jobs are just ordinary people most of the time. I just put in my mind that I am also helping them with justice. Justice is slow in the Philippines and costly. With cases dragging on for years, it's cheaper to hire an assassin than go to court. Police feel ill-equipped to conduct proper forensic investigations. And the absence of a criminal database means many hired guns operate without fear of getting caught. Unlike a group where you have to coordinate with everyone else, these individual gun for hire people can easily disappear because they're, they could be working by themselves or just the two of them. This gun for hire might be dead, but there are many others who would be willing to pick up where he left off. They come out of Manila's shadows and disappear back into them just as easily. Like Rigor, who has never been caught. It's just like going sightseeing. How I feel doesn't enter my mind anymore. I am blank. It's just a job. Garay Blas continues to fear for his life. And as long as poverty exists alongside a distrust of the justice system, it won't be easy to put people like Rigor out of business. Margo Ortigas, Al Jazeera, Manila.